In this lesson, you will identify features of Sync Center, configure Windows Mobility Center, use Remote Desktop, use Windows PowerShell for management tasks, and create custom Microsoft Management Consoles or MMCs. Here are the guiding questions I'd like you to consider while watching this video. What Windows application can be used to view the desktop of a remote Windows computer? List three items you might see in Windows Mobility Center and what is the difference between remote desktop and remote assistance? Features of Sync Center. The Sync Center can be accessed by clicking the Start button and typing Sync Center in the search dialog box and hitting Enter. It enables you to check the results of recent sync activity if you have your, set up your computer to sync files with a network server. Sync files enable copies of your network files to be accessed even when your computer is not connected to the network. Sync Center uses offline files. If a server is available, right click a network file or folder and select always available offline. This will synchronize the files when the computer shuts down and disconnects from the network. Windows Mobility Center displays the most commonly used settings such as brightness, volume, battery status, and wireless network status. The different tiles are displayed depending on the system and some tiles are added by the laptop manufacturer. The most common tiles include brightness, volume, battery status, wireless network, screen rotation, external display, sync center, and presentation center settings. Presentation settings are not available in Windows 7 Home Premium Edition. They're only available in Windows 7 Ultimate, Professional, and Enterprise Editions. Windows Mobility Center is used with mobile devices such as laptops or netbooks. It is not installed on desktops by default. Access Windows Mobility Center in the control panel. Windows Mobility Center gives mobile users a single center to adjust laptop settings for different places without searching for each setting. Remote Desktop Connection is a technology that allows the user to sit at a computer and connect to a remote computer in a different location. Remote Desktop must be enabled on the remote computer to allow incoming requests. This can be configured by accessing your system settings through the control panel, System and Security, System and Click remote settings in the left panel. There is a, a shortcut by right clicking on the computer icon on the start menu, select properties, and then select remote settings in the left panel. There are three options to enable remote desktop. Don't allow connections to this computer as the default, or you can allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop, which is less secure, or you can allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication, which is more secure. In order to select the last option, you must have Windows 7 uh, remote desktop connection client. Uh, also keep in mind that the RDP protocol, remote desktop protocol, uh, utilizes port 3389 by default. And uh, your firewall must be open to allow that port access to your machine. The remote desktop connection is used to initiate a session with a remote computer. The client can be found by clicking start and selecting search programs and files and type remote desktop connection and hit enter. The remote desktop connection can be configured to enhance your remote desktop experience. Selecting the general tab allows you to identify the remote computer and provide a user name. These settings can be saved. The Display tab allows you to configure display properties, such as utilizing multiple desktops. Local Resources tab allows you to identify which local resources you want to bring to your remote session, such as printers or local drives. The Programs tab allows you to identify which program will start when the connection is established. The Experience tab allows you to add or remove different features based upon your connection speed. And the Advanced tab contains Server Authentication and Connect from Anywhere sections. Windows PowerShell is a task-based command line shell and scripting language designed especially for system administration. It includes the following features. Commandlets are for performing common systems administrators tasks, 
such as managing the registry, services, processes, and event logs, and using Windows management in instrumentation. A task-based scripting language and support for existing scripts and command line tools, and a simplified command-based navigation of the operating system, which lets users navigate the registry and other data stores by using the same techniques that they use to navigate the file system. Windows PowerShell is a powerful environment. It cannot be fully appreciated in a short presentation. You can go to Microsoft's TechNet website in order to find out more information about Windows PowerShell. You can access the PowerShell by clicking the Start All Programs Accessories, Windows PowerShell, and selecting Windows PowerShell. You can use, issue commandlets in PowerShell or develop your own scripts to be run on a particular machine or even remote machines. The Windows PowerShell interface is similar to a command window with file system navigation. Note in this screenshot, the current path is the C colon backslash users backslash W7. Here's an example of using Windows PowerShell. In this command, the get services command is used to retrieve services on a local system. The select name status filters the information and returns just the name of the service and its current status. The convert to HTML converts the output of that command to an HTML formatted table and the out file services.html creates an output file called services.html in the current directory. Keep in mind the pipe command or that line operate operand is a very important part of the command. It takes the output of one command and puts it into the next command. So the output from get service is sent to a command let select name status and the output from the select name status statement is sent to the command convert to HTML and that output is finally sent to the command out file commandment. That command that we just issued, uh, we can browse to the directory, uh, in this case the ccolon backslash users backslash w7 directory, and we can open the file services.html, and this is what the uh, output of that command provided. MMCs can be used to customize uh, your own personal management console. So MMC is a Microsoft Management Console. You can get there by clicking the Start button, typing MMC, and hitting uh, Enter. Click File and select Add Remove Snap-ins to customize your own management options. You can select one of the snap-ins as Computer Management, which gives you the option to manage your local computer or remote machine. And more than one snap-in can be applied to your customized console. Here are some questions I would like you to discuss with your discussion group. What scripting language was designed especially for system administration? What is the advantage of having Windows Mobility Center available on a mobile laptop? And what application enables a user to connect to a computer in a remote location?